Hello everyone, and today on the Nightway we are pleased to have Professor Maria James Chow, the professor of the Race and Gender class at Central Penn College. Professor, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. And Professor Chow has recently had her class join in on a project. Professor, can you tell us more about this project? Sure, it's called the 1619 Project, and it was published in, uh, by the New York Times in one magazine collection. It's called a project because several scholars, journalists, historians, poets, can't forget that, <laughs> came together to do this historic research on what happened in 1619, which was the time when the first African slaves came to this land. Hmm. And the project shows not only what happened then, like a history lesson, but how it's connected to things going on now. And Professor, why do you think that this is necessary for your students to partake in? Well, the race and gender class is pretty much a sociology class. And we're talking about how identity is formed, how about social problems, um, things like that. And we're seeing from the 1619 Project how many of those problems stem directly from the legacy of slavery. And what message do you want it to convey? Well, I would like for my students just to have a broader understanding of this time in history and how it affects today so that they could maybe be some of those people starting those conversations yeah. and trying to solve those problems in their yeah. future careers. And what will you be doing with the products of this project? Oh, well, first, I'm having the students read the 1619 Project. It's made up of several essays and then poems as well. And they're picking essays that are directly related to their career, such as criminal justice or allied health. And then they read the essay, they write and respond to the essay, and then they're pulling out the quote that yeah. interests them the most, yeah. and they're creating a visual based on that quote. So they're using images and words to create this powerful quote museum, this exhibit that we'll have outside the Cultural Diversity Center. That's great. And how long will the exhibit be up in the Cultural Diversity Center? It's going to be over a month. It's going to be up all through January. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Is there anything else you would like to let our audience know today? Well, I think it's important for anyone that would like to learn more about how social problems such as healthcare disparities or police brutality, where these things stem from and what solutions are proposed. And, and just to read some really amazing scholars, I think that they should go ahead and get a copy of the 1619 Project from the New York Times. And again, you can go over to the Cultural Diversity Center. That will be till the end of January. Mm -hmm. So again, we'd like to thank you all for being here today. And Professor uh, Chow, thank you again as always. Thank you. My pleasure.